Go to Pixlr.com. Once you get there, go to the Advanced Editor. Open it up. Select Create a New Image. Title it accordingly. I'm going to leave the preset at this measurement, which works for me since I'm using a web size uh, photo. But if you're bringing in your own digital media, which you probably will, then uh, you might want to go to a larger size. And now what I'm going to do is use the gradient tool. It's right here. And if you look up at the top, you have other options that are related to that tool. If I click in the gradient color, these are all the default color selections. And you can also do some of your own mixing if you choose. But for now, I'm just going to choose this one. If you play with these tabs, then you can change the color gradient. And on my page, I'm going to click and draw a line and there I have a gradient. If you press Command Z because you didn't like it, it undoes the last move. I'm going to click Radial and try a different design and see if I like that better. And I like that one. So now I've got my background. Okay, so now it's time to get the photograph that you're going to turn into a silhouette. I have mine on my desktop. File, Open Image, and I need to find it. Here's my picture, select it, open, and now what I want to do is cut this person out and then I will bring down the lightness so that we have just got the um, silhouette of her. You'll need to use the lasso tool to cut out the person. Because the tools are not as robust as they are in Photoshop Elements, it's best to go around and leave an edge and later you'll take the eraser tool and erase the extra area that you do not want to include. This can be a little bit tedious. If you make a mistake and you go in, then it's best to start over. You can press Control D and that should deselect the tool. It does on a Mac. So have patience and go around the perimeter of your person. You can see that I made a very wide sweep around the person. Now what I'm going to do is go to Edit and Copy. By the way, you want to get off your lasso tool and go to that Neutral Move tool. And now I'm going to click the gradient. I'm going to stretch that out a little bit. And Edit and Paste. Now what you'll want to do is use the Eraser tool, zoom in, so that you get a good close-up of the area. Start up at the top or the bottom and work your way around. The eraser tool is over on the side, your tools area. Simply select it and you've got a brush tip which you may need to reduce in size. For the fine areas you're going to want to have it pretty small and simply go around and Correct. You can take your hand off the mouse and then put your hand down and correct. Remember, if you make a mistake and you go like that, don't worry because you can always go to Edit and Undo or Control Z and then start again until you have the silhouette or the look that you, you want for your silhouette. Once you've got the photo cut out, then in order to make it uh, a silhouette, very easy, just go to Adjustment, Hue and Saturation. Be sure that you are on the layer of the person and not the background. That's one thing to be sure you do in Photoshop is to keep your eye on which layer you're on or in Pixlr. Bring the lightness down, say OK, and now you've got your silhouette. You could move the silhouette wherever you like on the page. To add text, click the text tool and click your mouse where you would like to add text. Because my silhouette is black, I'm going to change the color 
It's easiest if you do it on the web tab colors and click. You also have uh, font choices here from which to choose. And depending on what your project is, in this case, I can see the text is much too large, so I'm going to change the size down and say OK. And I can move my text, go to the Move tool, and move it where you would like to place it. And then click, and once again, you click your mouse and type another word for your project. Now, I should have changed the color ahead of time, but I didn't, so I'll do it now. and then say OK and I'm going to try a different font this time and perhaps this is something I don't want to be quite as large I can say OK move tool and move it where you would like it to be placed if you'd like to change the direction from which your uh, words are coming then you want to click the layer that you be sure that you're on the layer that you want to change which I am over here I can see and you have to go to layer and rasterize layer it'll change the look of the word somewhat it becomes a little bit pixelated but then you can go to edit free transform the shortcut being control T and then you can get the rotation tool and move your words in different directions and that's all there is to creating the iPod looking silhouette. When your picture is done, be sure that you save it correctly. File, save, and place it in the location that it needs to go. In, my, in this case, I'm going to put it on my computer. And I've got it on my desktop, and it's saved.